Why take precautions to protect your skin from the sun? It's because people who have had more than five sunburns double their chances of getting melanoma. It's important to protect skin because your skin protects the rest of your body. Skin is part of the integumentary system. The integumentary system is the body's barrier between its interior and the outside. It is an organ system consisting of the skin, hair, nails, and exocrine glands. The skin has several vital functions. These include protection from injury, preventing entry of external pathogens and toxins, thermal regulation, waterproofing to limit water loss, storage of lipids, and synthesis of vitamin D. The skin is made up of three layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer. The epidermis grows into fingernails, toenails, and hair. This layer protects the body from the elements and provides a waterproofing. Almost nine-tenths of the epidermis is made of keratinocytes. These cells are very tough, scaly, and water-resistant. Synthesis of vitamin D starts within the epidermis. Ultraviolet light penetrates the outermost layer of the epidermis and converts a precursor steroid molecule to vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is synthesized into vitamin D in the kidneys, supplying about 90% of the body's vitamin D. The dermis is the layer beneath the epidermis. It ranges up to 4 millimeters thick. It is sturdy and rich in blood vessels and nerves. The sudorifus glands, or sweat glands, work together with blood vessels to control the body's temperature through thermoregulation. When body temperature rises, the dermis helps reduce body temperature through a combination of sweating and dilation of blood vessels. The sudorifus glands deliver water to the skin, where it begins to evaporate from the body surface. The evaporation of sweat absorbs heat produced by the body. Blood vessels just beneath the skin dilate to allow higher blood flow. Heat is pulled away from the body's core and moved to the skin where it can radiate out. As a result, the body cools. Evaporation of sweat speeds the cooling process. Sweat glands also help the body remove waste in the form of urea and mineral solutes. Initially odorless, sweat begins to smell because bacteria decompose the solutes. When the body is cold, the skin acts to prevent heat loss. Hair follicles contract to form goosebumps. These are vestigial structures that would have insulated the surface of the body in hair-covered humans. Goosebumps also occur as a result of emotional stress or stimulation. Blood vessels constrict to reduce the flow of blood to the skin, helping the body's core to retain heat. Blood flow throughout the dermis also executes the important function of distributing nutrients and oxygen. The hypodermis is the layer of the skin below the dermis. It is also referred to as subcutis or subcutaneous tissue. This layer forms the flexible connection between the skin and the underlying muscles and bones. The hypodermis is also a fat storage area. The integumentary system is vital for body health. It is liable to damage through injury. A serious integumentary system disease is skin cancer, which arises in the epidermis. For this reason, physicians recommend limiting exposure to the sun and use of sunblock when outside.